well if this build up for the test match isn't enough you have an announcement which is kind of not surprising breaking news when the sca stadium was been renamed as the niranjan shah stadium jesha the bcci secretary has inadvertently blurted out maybe he meant it maybe he didn't mean it rohit sharma will captain the indian team for the icc world t20 in 2024 you heard it right jay shah himself has given the confirmation that rohit sharma will captain the indian cricket team for the icc world t20 in 2024 nikhil should we be surprised about it or this was just waiting to happen uh oh i mean i'm not surprised first things first uh, sidhat because you knew as soon as the captain for the afghanistan series was announced you knew that that is what uh, you know they were looking uh, ahead to and there was no reason for a rohit sharma to have been called back for that afghanistan series if he wasn't going to be the captain going forward for the t20 world cup as rohit sharma himself had said earlier i mean it was a bit surprise uh, surprising for some not for all a bit surprising for some when he was picked in afghanistan series because at the time many had thought that you know because hardik had been captaining after that semi final loss in the previous uh, world cup uh, since then you 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 thought that they were only going one way that they had decided uh that hardik would be the captain but as soon as we you know got to know that they were looking at a uh, rohit sharma uh to be captaining in that uh, series in afghanistan then you pretty much knew that uh, that's going to be uh, your captain so uh you know while uh, it it does sound as big news it does sound as breaking news that he is going to be your t20 captain provided you know there's no injury scare and so on and so forth but i think in afghanistan series only as soon as it was decided that uh you know you're going to go with him as captain it was pretty much confirmed that he's going to be uh your captain for the t20 world cup uh whether i mean i i thought that was interesting you said whether jaisha meant to say this or not i mean in his mind he was 100% sure because this decision was taken right when you decided to bring a rohit sharma for afghanistan series was pretty much decided that he's going to be captain but did he realize that this statement of his is going to become this big news i mean your guess is as good as mine nobody knows maybe there's nothing wrong maybe if that was the uh, you know decision that the bcc had taken then you know very well it's better to be said now than to wait so in their mind they had no doubt so he mentioned it uh, or on the other hand you know it was his way of reassuring everyone that don't be upset we will win another world cup maybe saying it in that and inadvertently said it you can look at it either ways the fact of the matter is rohit was decided he's going to be the captain for the t20 world cup and that's something that all of us knew is just you've got the you know stamp of approval that's all i'll say and in fact i think this is the first time the bcc has actually come out and uh, officially named a captain for the t20 world cup because a lot of speculation was there when act- rohit sharma made a comeback in t20 cricket that has bcci gone back on their words but uh, if we look at it uh, the bcci never actually named hardik pandya as the captain for a uh, yeah. long term for the world cup this is the first time that uh, a statement officially if we can call it has come from the bcci that it would be rohit sharma who would be leading the side Although, although, let me just add. Okay, there were now. If you look back upon it, in July 2023, you remember, Nikhil, there was this question asked. There was the statement that we made. Oh, yeah, we are come. I am coming back next year for the T20 World Cup. I am coming back to the Caribbean. That itself probably was a giveaway. If you look back at it at that time, and now, actually, if you look at it, Shashwat, I would kind of disagree. It's not an official confirmation in the form of a press release or anything. it's just been blurted out in the garb of a event that has happened no but this is like some first time someone has uh, come out and actually spoken about the captaincy because when hardik pandya was captain of the time for quite a long time there was n- there were of course there were reports that it's going to be hardik pandya who's going to lead the side moving ahead but nobody actually ever made a statement i know this isn't an official statement that he is the captain but it is somewhat unofficially but still there was no statement in those terms earlier also regarding hardik pandya but then okay then why this entire drama was played out that hardik pandya will be your t20 captain okay what yeah. changed was it the injury that he suffered in the world cup this continuous bad luck with injuries or do you think somewhere down the line 
suddenly the bcci has lost trust in the management of uh, hardik pandya as the captain or maybe or maybe the performance actually rohit sharma had at the odi world cup i think that is also something that prompted in this decision okay so it's a very i i find this a very very strange situation i mean nikhil uh, shane and shashwat because why on earth are you going to suddenly decide upon the captaincy now with just two months to go suddenly make that announcement what happens to hardik pandya what happens to his performance i don't know i mean see let's be very clear i think we always knew that uh, come what may i think rohit was going to be the captain uh, so it it isn't that much of a surprise either to hear uh, you know from the secretary saying that he's confident in the abilities of uh, uh, you know rohit sharma to lead but it is a bit of a it does raise a lot of questions as to what exactly the future is are they looking at the future right now or is it simply just a case of them looking at let's say uh, the short term is it only something that you're going to be focusing on the here and now and what happens later on we will figure out later on it doesn't seem like there is going to be that much of a focus on the long term at the yet yeah so there will be a detailed discussion about it tomorrow guys because see the problem now is what happens in the future now suddenly with just two months to go you made the decision that okay it's now rohit sharma is going to lead what happens to hardik pandya now what happens to his position as a player or as a captain this announcement by jay shah the uh, sidelines of what's happening at the rajkot stadium which is now the niranjan shah stadium it is a really mm. really big situation that has probably thrown the indian cricket team in turmoil at this point in time i would say it's a situation that is tailor made for chaos there'll be a lot of repercussions at this point in time and i wonder what's going to happen now so that was the current we just want to there's a separate video that's going to come up also on jay shah's statement you can listen to that on sports today also you can already now, listen so to let us see how yeah i you think there will be a shashwan in a couple of minutes it's already up it's already up already up okay so you can check that out what jay shah really stated we have just brought you this live and let me tell you it's only going to throw indian cricket in total turmoil now for someone who's not played for one and a half years suddenly comes back into the scheme of things leads the team against afghanistan and now he's the captain what happens to hardik pandya because he may come back from injury he may come back from all that but then what happens to him now that is the big situation so that's about it folks thank you so much for joining us for this update we'll be back with more from sports straight up that bell icon for you know when we go live and don't forget we are on facebook twitter and instagram as well do check out the full statement that jayesh has done on sports today thank you so much for your company folks we'll be back soon